in four steps of hypothesis testing or four steps of linear regression model this first step was to test the statistical significance and then the second test was uh, uh, second step was to test the practical significance and then the if they're both statistically and practically significant then we interpret the coefficient explain them finally we see if there is any problem in the step number four we see there is any problem in the regression model so we try to um, we call them a diagnostic test for regression model so there are um, two primary tests for outlier one is the studentized residuals which is ri equals ei divided by square root of msc one minus the diagonal element of hat matrix now all these jargons we don't have to worry about it we're gonna get every single of these values from a statistical software whether you use sas spss minitab they all gives you this value so student studentized residuals is basically an adjusted residual residual is ei which is adjusted by msc and then one minus hat matrix if this value more than 2 that is considered an outlier laying observation deleted studentized residual this is basically what it says so if we delete one point and then fit the model what is the predicted value deleting that point and then the observed value uh, so the deleted the residual is calculated ei is the observed value y uh, minus the uh, y hat by deleting that ith observation and after that we calculate this ti deleted residuals and then um, we see whether that's an influential but however this is little bit more involved uh, if you want to know how to use this deleted residual in of in determining outlier or influential points check my other videos on uh, deleted student residuals so let's go to the influential point so there are two different ways you can use influential uh, you can determine some point in influential or not first thing is the defeat what is defeat so here you can see i y i uh, hat which is the um, predicted value of ith observation now why i had i is in the uh, parenthesis that means if we delete that i observation what is the predicted value of ith observation so this is the ith observation predicted value minus deleting that observation and then predict that so and then that is the that's why it's called the difference between fitted value with and without ith observation now if this value is more than one this comes from any software it will give you i will show you in a minute for a small data set if it's more than one then it's called outlier uh, influential point if it's uh, for large data set two divided by square root of p by n p is the number of parameters including the constant value and n is the sample size so if it exceeds that then it's an uh, influential point cook distance also comes from the um out from the um, uh, any statistical software to understand it should be di is equal to there is a typo here um, let me fix that so it should be like this if you look at this um, the cook distance basically the overall impact you see that summation sign was added right before to this so it's basically looking at the overall impact of the deleted point on the model similar to defeats uh, if it's exceed more than one then we consider the point is influential now let's go ahead and run an analysis in uh, let's go so here let me change one of these point let's make this 50. so i'm added one the first outlier point let's go to stat regression and then fit regression model now i'm going to go to that result section uh, not in result storage section i always i want to see the fitted value residual studentized standardized residual 
deleted residual leverage is basically the hat diagonal element of the hat matrix and then cook distance and then defeats that should be okay all right so here we got all of these uh, different things so the fitted value for 53 years of age person is 162 but we changes the data 50 make it 50 to make it an outlier and also an influential points now if you see this one the uh, rsei residual standardized residual or whatever uh, you'd like to call that and this is the S R E S that's the standardized studentized residual which more than two is considered really bad it's outlier and also an influential point now ti is different test we'll show you another video cook distance if it's more than one then it's influential it's very close to one is it more than one yes so it's very close to one uh, so we can say close to influential defeats definitely more than one so this is definitely more than one according to that defeat residual and there is considered an outlier however according to cook distance is close but not um, not that outlier now we may be wondering why you are using all of these measures because uh, some measures sometimes for some data set is useful and then some other data for not useful so in this case defeat says out point number one is outlier so we'll say if any of that point says influential by any measure so either by cook distance or defeat if it's influential then it's influential and it done now if it's either by the student ties residual deleted residual or standardized residual by either measure if it's considered as an outlying observation it is outlier so for the standard one we only compare with two if it's more than two the absolute value then we say outlying observation for the t deleted residual this the process is a little bit more involved i'll show you in the next video however this point is outlier and also an influential point anyway and also in Minitab you will see Minitab will pick the outlier points for your for you you don't have to do anything so as you can see here observation one is picked as an um, you see that fits and diagnostic for unusual observation so many tabs kind of default picks those value for you so basically these things are mostly automated in most software these days you don't have to do anything only thing you need to know where you find that thing so regression regression fit regression and then go to storage and then select all of these to see it if you are interested to see it if any even if you don't select those minitable still list those values for you those are considered outlier or influential so that's it about the diagnostic test in regression analysis this is very important if before you say your model is significant is also practically significant the coefficient makes sense uh, you must check the diagnostic before you claim all this